Okay, Manjai, Rachana, may I start? Yes. Um, poetry is when an emotion has found its top and the thought has found words. With the famous line of the greatest American poet, Robert Frost, I begin today's even. Greetings to everyone present here in this international webinar and to all our viewers watching us through Facebook Live and Instagram. We are pleased to welcome the renowned poets and well-wishers who have been associated with creative writing modern age, as well as those who are invited as guests to a grand poetry slam 2022 Cosmopoetica, organized by Creative Writing Modern Age, a platform that works to develop the speaking and writing skills of everyone. It is an initiative of Mrs. Rachina Chakraborty, who wants to make communication as a blender, believing that a perfect man needs to listen, speak, and write, thereby free webinars inviting renowned literary persons sharing valuable tips to develop the love of literature and language are conducted. Well, in a short span of three years, Creative Writing Modern Age has trained more than 1,000 plus kids and has tried to reach out to every corner of the world. The events like storytelling sessions, literary contests, Battle of Words, Cosmopoetica, and also the Best Writer of the Month are organized. But an active team, Creative Writing Modern Age, leaves no stone unturned by giving everyone a chance to be a co-author in the Yoli book, The Chosen One. And now today's even Cosmopoetica will be introduced with a short video clip. May I request the team of CW Amy to play the video.
thank you to the team. That was really an amazing journey and still we continue with their journey, of course, with everyone's support. Well, all our esteemed guests, participants and viewers are present here sharing this common passion of writing or reading poems. We love poetry as a poem compiles all ideas, feelings and sounds into a few carefully chosen words in the form of verses. The look, sound and language of poetry work together as the literary devices extracts the lyrical intensity and the beauty of a poem. It makes us delve down deeper into our soul and discover ourselves. Once we understand and value ourselves, we look at the world with a love, kindness, and empathy for everyone. Yes, a poet's creative imagination and vision gives a broader perspective to embrace change, isn't it? So I, Mrs. Manjay Sharma Padgiri, your co-host from Assam, India, would like to introduce myself. I'm an educator, news reader, radio jockey, program anchor, poet, and a writer sharing with you all the passion for connecting with people and enriching myself with everyone's knowledge and experiences. So before starting, I would like to read out a poem on self-love, which recently won the first prize in the poem writing competition organized by Creative Writing Modern Age. In Harmony, the broken wings of the little sparrow perched on my windowsill made me sigh. I couldn't go near, lest with fear it falls down. I couldn't leave, lest birds of prey divorce it. I count my next step as I pray to God, hoping that I would nurture and take care. Those helpless eyes trusted me, a stranger, and I, I stood as a savior confidently. My mental fears no longer painted scars. As I applied the potion on its tender wings, my soul was healing with that fateful look. We both stared out of the window at the greens, at the blues, and then the white clouds juggling. The world is beautiful, so am I, and it spread its wings. Today, I fear not that it will fly away. I'm worthy, I'm valuable, and that only matters. The mirror reflects a narcissistic me as my contended inner self refuses to be judged. Still there in the windowsill, I yearn to see. The sparrow now fluttering its strong wings, spreading the fragrance of self-love, evading the painful past. Thank you, everyone. And with that poem, I begin today's session. So it's a great honor to have in our midst Dr. Ampad Vargis Goshi, a poet from India who stands out tall as a teacher, poet, literary critic, theoretician, fiction writer, and anthology maker, and an editor. He has 21 books with his name on the cover that includes Samuel Beckett's English Poetry, a treatise on poetry for beginners, a brief history of sonnet, the Significant and Roseate Sonnet Anthologies, Scream and Other Urban Legends, etc. With various nominations and awards in the Poetry and Fiction World, he has won Best Researcher Award in Jajan University in 2018. Presently working in the English Department of Mount Carmel, Dr. Koshi likes to fly under the radar and make his influence in the literary field. In the field of autism, through his International Rural Literary Prize, establishing the literary group, the Significant League, and creating his own sonnet form, the Roseate Sonnet. Producing amazing bestsellers in poetry, collaborating with great writers like Dr. Santosh Bakaya, etc. So sharing our happiness to have such a literary genius in our midst, yours requesting sir to share his deliberation. Uh, thank you, Manjai. It was very uh, good to hear your poem. And uh, I feel that prize was uh, justly given to you. And I uh, would like to start by thanking Rachana Chakrabarti uh, she's very kind to me. She gives me these opportunities and I'm very happy to receive them. So congrats to you, ma'am, and also to CWMA. And I'm happy to see uh, all the poets here and Duane also, who's a good friend of mine. I uh, want to talk in the beginning about the fact that uh, many people talk about their roots 
So recently I have been thinking about my roots as a poet. So uh, interestingly enough, I traced it back to my mother. And so then I started thinking about all the women artists who influenced me. And I think they form part of the roots of my art and poetry. So I wrote this poem. I'd like to read it to you. I uh, have been enriched by collaborating with many uh, women artists, writers like Dr. Santosh Bakaya and all the others I've collaborated with. Uh, I'd like to name them, but I have no time. But I wrote this poem about uh, artists from the past and artists from the present. And I think you like it. It's a different kind of poem. I'm searching for the ones from the past in the ones I collaborate with in the present. Those artists I could have fallen in love with, am in love with. You don't know them, but they were worth it, I tell you. I don't know where to start with naming them. Their very names are a poem. There was Anais Nin, there was Juna Barnes, there was Lou Salome, there was Sylvia Plath and Frida Kahlo, of course. Do you remember or know any of them? I'm sure you do. There was Nina Simone, Joni Mitchell, Laura Nairo and Nicole, Emily Bronte, Charlotte Bronte, and Bronte. And Emily. I can't really fade, finish naming all of them. There were so many. There was Grace Lick and Georgia Okefe. There was Virginia Woolf. There was Marilyn Monroe in Blue. It was Midnight Blue. There were painters and singers, lyricists, writers, and sculptors. Some were actors and photographers. Some were models and some dancers or movie makers. I want to meet the majority, some young, some tragically. Maybe they would have recognized my kinship. I'm looking, for, I'm looking for them in you, but that doesn't work in the here and now, in the here and you. Not that you don't have your beauty too, but you glimpse mine only like half a drop of dew. While they, they have seen the full dew fall, who am I fooling? It's I who have seen it in them. It's my eyes stinging or singing. It's a valley of dolls, corpses and crosses on the headstones of graves that are pilgrimage centers. They had their fill of the world and left. Now it is time for the end according to the Hopi prophecies. When you blocked me, was it because you knew and feared it or as you did not see that you and they were made or made not made of the same metal? And you ran away to escape seeing the in me, in the midst of the red, yellow, green, blue, yellow, and white rose flowers on the waters. So uh, I consider this a poem to uh, all the women who have inspired me. And uh, that's my first poem. I hope you like it. And the second poem is, you know, a poem that uh, someone who uh, I admire a lot as a writer. Uh, that is uh, Sadbir Chadda uh, and uh, also Santosh Bakaya, uh, who are both artists I admire. Uh, they like a lot. So I uh, wanted to uh, read that. So just give me a, one minute to find it. I think I'm allowed to read three poems by Rachna. So I'm reading uh, three poems. Is it okay, Rajna? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Manmay. So this is a poem that was influenced by Mahmoud Darwish. You know, I read some of his poems where he, you know, uh, wishes for peace in Palestine. And, you know, he's angry with the Israelites who have made them internal refugees in their own land. But at the same time, you know, he he is angry with their policies and he's not angry with some of these relics. In fact, he was in love with this girl called Rita and this very beautiful poem written by him about Rita. So anyway, this is about, you know, the tragedy of war. So it's also about Russia and Ukraine in a sense. It's called Outside, they're going, getting ready to kill each other in the name of religion. Slip through the nets. Let us walk unseen to the field where the small, wild, white flowers bloom. There on the grass, let me make love to you, your hair in my mouth, 
you tangled in my arms while far away sounds of weapons and thunder tell us time is short soon i will have to go and try to bring peace and they may kill me for it my love let me have my fill of you be strength to my marrow and believe i will come back if only to drink the honey of your lips as the crow thirsty does from rain puddle or water tap i leave you to me in plain your lips eyes cheek and pretty bust to make sad love worthwhile with our scanty kisses only a bottle in such hard pressed times of holy water no longer oceans wide so this poem is also dedicated to uh, you know people like jesus buddha john lennon martin luther king jr gandhi ambedkar uh, and uh, nelson mandela abraham lincoln all those who stood for peace who their own different methods uh, now uh, i just read the last one it's a very short poem i am returning to it after a long time this is a poem that was nominated for uh, pushkar prize in 2012 so it's called shayar o rumi intoxication with the divine is not the only way o ghalib the way of the senses is not the only one brothers you know the body of my love also hands on it cartography that gives me the map i alone have the key to open its hidden door before me spreads the unending vistas of her keen delight this is actually written long ago in 2012 a day after rumi's birthday and surprisingly it was picked up and nominated for the pushkar prize so i thank you for giving me this opportunity and that only others spread out over the past 10 years one was in 2012 one was in about 2016 so i think it's pretty inclusive thank you very much for listening to me thank you sir it is indeed wonderful to listen to your poems on collaboration of different poets actors um, painters from the different ages especially reflecting women and you know a nice dedication to the legendary creative geniuses who have left a legacy and also the social scenario of nations reflected thereby through the poems influenced by the great leaders in fact a wonderful insight sir and we are enriched by your reading out of the verses thank you once again i would now like to request professor duan vorhij a poet from thailand to take over but before that a brief introduction to his words the old world had found a new one and the new had liberated the old what was i supposed to do i could have tried to separate the love givers and needers from the mere loafers and needy but let the baker school measured i wow the significant poetic line just reveals all about you sir reading your profile itself i got a glimpse of the poet in you to the play of words in fact professor duan vohij published his collection of poems to hog press the many loves of duan vohij loves autobiography the ends of love in 2019 and gift got runs to all these rooms in 2020 well sir we would like to listen to your deliberation of our poetry session and we request you to read out your verses professor duen sir may i request you to kindly take over please unmute yourself sir you are muted kindly unmute yourself
May I request you and sir to kindly unmute yourself. You can move on to someone else. Meanwhile, he, he fixes his problem, Manjai. Okay. Okay, then uh, we shall move on. Okay, next we have with us the multifaceted lady, the poet from USA. Diana Bellaros. Well, in 2004, she graduated from Edmonds Community College with an Associate of Arts degree. She is a well-known author of Fire and Ice, which was an award winner name of 2012. She has been featured on Women's Essence magazine in the August issue of 2012 and in Angel's Diary online magazine in the July 2013 issue for her achievements for this book. She was awarded in 2019 for being one of the hundred most successful women leaders in the world. Her other books are Monster in Mirror, Ashes and Ice, and The Journey of Transformation. She is also a radio talk show host on Block Talk Show a Radio for the Diana Belarus Show, and also a radio host on A to Jen FM, The Muse Cafe, and The Rachel Love Show. We are so privileged to have you in our event, ma'am. So here is Diana Bellarose, also recognized as a best-selling author in the United Kingdom on Kindle. May I request you, ma'am, to come? Yeah, thank you so much. This was absolutely beautiful. Thank you for uh, this invitation. I definitely feel so happy to be with everybody today. And I'm going to read one of the poems. I wrote several poems yesterday from my new book that is going to be published in January 2023. So thank you so much. And the poem is called Survivor. Warning to survive is a way of life. Every day is a new challenge. Nothing seems to be like before, running around in circles and trying to provide for your basic needs. No fun or time for yourself. What kind of a life is that? Living a fear of what the next day has in store for you or what kind of a news, new skill you must have. Your heart is giving you a sign to stop. Your soul is telling you, you need a rest. Your face is showing your inner world, but you are too busy trying to survive. Very nice to listen to it, ma'am. The fear to live and survive in the best yeah. to listen to you. Exactly, exactly. That's what we are going through at the moment. Sadly, that's the reality. Yes. And I, yeah, I would like to read another poem I wrote yesterday. It's called Love. And love is the most important thing that unites us and makes us humans. There is no more power, powerful feeling in the world that makes everyone light up and feels happy again. Love makes everyone feel more, feel more than who they are. Love is the only thing that makes life worth living. Nothing can compare to love. Love is the pill for pain. Love brightens our days. Love gives purpose and desire to wake up every day. Everyone is here to love and to be loved. When love is missing, life feels due. Only love can open hearts and he wants. Love makes the world shine and brighten everyone's life. Love brings people together. Love unites us all. Very nice, ma'am. So really, Thank so true. So you're so right. <laughs> yeah. 
we need a lot of love and we need to work on this so we can change things and make this world a better place and loving place again. Yes. So exactly true, no? That love is the strongest of human emotion that brings a sense of belongingness, the strength, the purpose to wake up every day with a smile. It was in the remarkable lines, ma'am. Thank you so much. So we would again love to listen to a few more verses of yours, ma'am. You add so much positive vibes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, Life Journey is the next poem I wrote yesterday. We all have a path in this life. It is different for all of us, but somewhere in the twists and turns, we find that we have the same experience, but in a distinct way. That's what makes life so interesting, and we all have something to tell. Our stories make us alive and the lessons we have learned. The journey of life continue until our last breath and we take our memories with us and leave a trace behind. Good oh, nice lines. So the Thank past you. gives us strength. Thank you so much. Yes. So the Absolutely. Past there are so many fears of the past that add strength in the present. And then we move forward with hope for the future. And it's wonderful to listen to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. So we then move on to our next poet, who is an active member of creative writing modern age. She is a board director in the team. Now, I would like to request Ms. Sachini Surya Bandara, a poet from Sri Lanka, to read out some of her verses. I would mention that this young, charming lady who worked as a senior merchandiser in the apparel industry is the director, author affairs with her interest in Sinhala and English poetry, writing, painting, and creative designing and whatnot. She is always so active. So I would like to welcome you, the young, vibrant, and radiant lady, Ms. Sachini Surya Bandara. Thank you, ma'am. It was uh, lovely hearing to all these great poets. And uh, in compared to them, I think I'm still a fresher, but I'm so privileged to be here today. So uh, today, when I uh, think about my poem, actually, I'll uh, tell you all a little explanation why I uh, want to recite this today. Uh, I wrote this a few years back, but uh, I thought of uh, adding a few things and kind of like remixing it because of a, a little incident that I came across recently, where uh, in Sri Lanka we heard of a suicide case uh, where the uh, person who committed the crime uh, did it because of the work pressure and also due to the un, um, unfavorable uh, working environment he was facing. So when I heard that, I was thinking, why do we prioritize other people or something like work in our lives to do such a crime to ourselves? Like prioritizing is fine, but as far as it gives you happiness or if it's add more meaning to your life, prioritizing is really fine. But if it depresses you, or if it gives you a feeling that makes you want to suicide yourself, I don't think that those people or those uh, things like work or anything should be at least in your priority list. So uh, through this, I want to make people think more positively about life, even when negativity is what rules. So just be brave to make yourself number one, at least in your priority list. So uh, I will recite my poem. This is called A Restricted Life. Let's make this your time because it is your life. 
a lot of thoughts to win the world, but ends with no one knows you died. Take your life granted to be the one you like. The journey becomes harder as you fulfill others' likes and dislikes. In life, it's all thick or thin you will face or fight. Life will never give you roses without a thorn that hurts you knife. It will be a little painful and leaves a scar that stays for some time. The pain, the scars that roses bring are the beautiful lessons of life. We live a life full of wishes, mothers, fathers, and someone else's. How to live, whom to be, when to marry, or where would you be? Take a chance for you to plan don't be afraid to take your own call. Things will be right as far as you try. If right doesn't work, take the left and shine. Life is a sky full of opportunities to try and offers you with wings of a specific size. The smaller they are, the harder it gets, the bigger it grows, the better it gets. Try and try for you to one day fly with your own wings freely in the sky. There will be more wings flying with you in the sky. Remember that no one will always be nice because this is only a restricted life. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful, Sachini, and so true. Your verses on the harsh reality of life is really thought-provoking and soul-stirring. If we have your generation sharing such views, there can really be a transformation in the mindset of such people tormented with negative vibes. Isn't Thank it? Thank you. Okay, so Sachini, would you like to continue with any of your verses? More verses? Uh, or? Uh, I have uh, another verse that uh, I wrote uh, based on a bird, actually. Uh, uh, the bird is called uh, albatros. Uh, she, uh, that bird is also specifically related to life. So I will recite that. The albatros of the southern sea, the greatest traveler you must see. Single and mingle, only for she, the oldest, the golden, you must see. He shares life with only one woman. She dares to see another in common. They aren't the, that bad or like human who changes in time from woman to woman. The rhyme of the ancient mariner, the crime of the ancient killer. The prime of this ancient traveler was to save the life of a sailor. This is all about humanity, lack of tribute, but vanity. Never value the dignity, the corrupted world's reality. Thank you. Wonderful. So from Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, so, so nicely you have juxtaposed the ideas. Really great, Sachini, relating to the albatross, the bird of life. So in this context, you know, I just remembered one of my poems, which was also dedicated to a bird, the falcon. So I would just like to read it out as I'm just inspired. That I like most from you as well. Yes, you said so. So I remember it, Sachini. The falcon waits for the prey, but she is grasping to take her last breath. Seeking divine intervention with folded hands, her indomitable spirit is tarnished before the ruthless protector. Her frail body resists moving on, bogged amidst the marshy quagmire with fading strength, realization dawns. Why did she try to quench her thirst from a mirage? A mirage that shone only in the sunlight. Oh. She fails to move. She staggers in the dunes with the last look at the perilous menace. She resigned, though twilight blurred 
its impeccable site. Thank you. So, thank you. So I think with that, uh, I would now like to request our founder and mentor of Creative Writing Modern Age, Professor Rajna Chakraborty, ma'am, to speak a few words, though you are having a severe throat problem, but you know, it's always a pleasure to listen to you. Well, you are truly inspirational and you always motivate and full of appreciation for everyone. So, Thank you once again for believing in us and also creating, igniting the passion in all of us and spreading smiles, of course. So it's over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Manjuri. But yes, my voice is totally um, gone for a toss for the day. Actually, I was waiting to listen to the other poets, but they are having some network issues. Some are traveling because of Christmas. Dwayne Sir was there, but suddenly, or maybe due to network issues, he too couldn't wait long. Probably if he joins, we are still there. And uh, I don't know, I'm very sorry about my voice today, uh, but I'll try to make myself audible. And I hope my audience will bear with me. And of course, my amazing host today, thank you so much. And uh, thanks, Sichini, for the wonderful video which you have made. It was lovely uh, to see that uh, looking, you know, what you capitulated mm -hmm. together from all the moments of last uh, season one, Cosmopoetica. So we'll surely have season two also, which will now be compiled together. Okay, so just a small poem because many poets are missing today. Otherwise I would have not taken this daring turn tonight to read out my poems with this very bad voice. <laughs> so I would like to say something about my granny. My granny, oh, my granny, what should I say about her? She's a lady of extreme cuteness, concealing all her sorrow behind the smile. Oh, how she super handedly smiles all her woes out conceived my mother when she herself was just a teen, but never did she complain about her extending breed. See, at that time, it was, I'm talking about my grandma, when it was, everyone was given a chance, but at the very young age, nine kids did she not only conceive but also managed to give them a better life. How she could manage all her when I got drowned sometimes by my only two. She with her nine, my mother, oh my, my. My mother personifies womanhood, a caregiver with super organization skills, a bundle of unbridled energy, compassion. She really is the epitome of sacrifice. Till today, I fail to learn how she does it all. I, the mother, quarrel with my daughters over petty things. But she sacrificed her teenage for her siblings and the rest of her life on us. Oh, can there be any woman who doesn't know what they want. My mom supports her own mom and to still date support is our support system too. A real woman is she. Lucky am I to have been born to her and lucky are the precious associated with her. She demands an aura of respect around her through her psychic refutes at all. I salute her to be with me, besides me, always, till date. And this goes also to my sister, who has been my support system. My sister, here's a noble soul who cares me, lighted my darkened, obliterated me. Never thought about her happiness, 
a little naughty, a little cute, but clever all the way. Modesty covers her from head to foot. Besides me, always, whenever I need. A holy soul, a pure heart, a crazy sis. Thanks for being beside me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Manjuri. Thank you, so really, you know, lis uh, listening to you, Rachna ma'am, I really feel that poems are all about stories of people around us. So the bond we share, especially with our grandparents, it's so precious. So they always hold a special uh, position in our heart. And even the bond that you share with your sister is so pure, so cute, you know, so nice to listen to it. So that was a nice reflection of your thoughts and feelings, ma'am, the eulogies to your grandma and also to your mom and your sister. So uh, Duan Sir is here. So we would like to listen to Duan Sir reciting some of his verses. Well, um, I'm, I'm sorry I am so late. I was having a lot of problems and I hope that they are resolved now. Um, I'm sorry for all the poets I missed. I, I heard Koshi and then went blank. So um, I apologize though I have really nothing personal to apologize for. It's, it's the computer's fault. You know, and I would kick it and then I would just be off again, so. The why of poetry. Medicine men summon the sacred smoke of sage, sweet grass, and cedar. They unrein the dream. And poets compose. They unmine the mind field, incite insight. Just one equals either one. Impossibility, like a dove can't be disproved by just one sky. Permanent is not eternal. Now is not forever. To circumstance, adjust frost, flood, dust. Condition isn't definition. Energy matters, matter energizes. Conception itself conceives, is always was. Life lives with no conception. <laughs> Posit any sky to prove the dove's possibility or the crow's. Hmm. Uh, this is circumstance at the center of the circumference. My mind wrestled itself, pinned between law and gospel, vision and division, and pondered my place within the world. A time to remember, to dismember. And then I heard inside, Jehovah, wisdom is your recognition that midgets and giants are members of one family and the pierced are the parents of the whole. Thus saith Allah the Lord, a disputatious blue jay argues over the head of the wheelchaired woman. And then I heard from inside, Allah, the dark and the light, the female and the male, the hallowed and the damned, and the wide and varied spectra between. All inhabit the same castle hovels, eat identical fruits 
and breads. Fill their mutual lungs with the same necessary air. They live only to die alike. Thus saith Buddha the Lord. A frolicsome Kali is crushed beneath the wheels of the speeding mercury. And then from inside, I heard Buddha. Siblings are the sinister and sincere. The thankless are inseparable from the sanctified. The unhurt and the maimed share one body after all, hidden by illusions of skin and gender, atlas and caste. Thus saith Krishna the Lord, a genandromorphic monarch flutters to the patient finger of the eager child. And then from within came Krishna. The ancient one was an infant once, just as the babe shall one day age. Knights belong to insomniacs and narcoleps alike. And the sun is owned in equal measure by the famous and the nameless. Thus saith Ra the Lord. A jet fighter scratches its vapor fingernails against the cloudless sky. And then I announced to myself, Mankind is a patchwork of the alienated and the integrated, of the squandered and the saved, of the vicious and pacific, of the sane and the imbecile, of consultant and enslaved. And heaven, the shared possession of our various souls, demarcated by social lines and by lines within our minds. Thus saith I, ants parade across the yards for mica table. And I stretched and left the porch. And one short one, agency. Of what is built the world? Of timber, steel, and stone with bicep and testosterone? No. Of powder and foundation. Where lies the garden's lure? In garland or in thorn? The harem whips and spurs the crown to accommodate their station. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. It was really good. Yes. It was wonderful listening to you, sir. Yes. Well, thank you. I'm glad I finally made it yes. on. We are very lucky that you could made it, sir. And listening to your poems, sir, we are really enlightened. So that was Professor Duan Vohij, the great poet from Thailand. And he has surely made us feel that life leads us with strong perceptions, visions, as we ponder at the circumstances. The wisdom reflected in his poems is divine. As, uh, sir, you have invoked the divine intervention. So really remarkable. Of course, uh, the sound patterns influences poetry and listening to your poems, we exactly felt so. I hope others will also agree. Yes, you know, I do remember in this context. Oh, so. Yes, I do remember this lines, you know, uh, this is a poem, Open Hydrant, which was published in 1983. Marcy Ridland, the Random House of Poetry for Children, uh, Children which was edited by Jack Prelutsky. So referring to the sound patterns. Water rushes up and gushes, cooling summer sizzle. In a sudden whoosh, it rushes, not a little drizzle. First a hush and down it crashes. Over curbs it switches, 
just a luscious waterfall for cooling city fishes. So that's, you know, exactly like we often associate poetry with repetition of sounds in rhyme scheme, which creates an additional meaning. So uh, alliteration, assonance, and onomatopoeia have the effects in bringing a poem to life. And exactly we have seen now. So uh, I would like to put up a question over here to all the poets here in the forum, that how far do you think that the sound patterns influences poetry and brings a poem to life? Um. Um, you know, I, use, I, use I, I think it is the sound that that distinguishes poetry from prose. Um, it, it doesn't have to rhyme. It, it doesn't have to have assonance. It doesn't have to have rhythm. But but it is driven by sound and image. And, and maybe prose is driven by by intellect and by the immediate. But uh, the, the poem is sensation. It, it is not. Uh, it is not anything else. I guess. Okay, very uh, nice. To uh, know. My poetry is heavily. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, way? sir. Yes, sir. Yes. My poetry is heavily driven uh, by sound rather than by image. And uh, I use uh, rhythm, rhyme, onomatopoeia, assonance, alliteration, consonance, everything. Yes. I, I have to. In fact, that's a predominant thing in my poetry. I just love the way you uh, said those words about water. It was lovely. Yes, sir. And you were talking about Dr. Shantos Bakayam, ma'am. And what would be better yes. to just remember those poems of her which abound in alliteration? It's wonderful. Right. Right. So to read right. her yeah. Exactly. So each and every verse of hers has that alliteration. And it's a wonderful feeling. It transports us totally into a different world where mm. we can portray before our own eyes. And mm. therein lies the beauty of a poem. It connects us with our soul. We forget, we forget who we are. And in the process, we discover ourselves. We find yes. the strength. It's like a rhythmic chant, like a yeah. mantra. Yes. So. <laughs> It's a meditation. So I would like to now request any of the speakers who are here to uh, for um, to initiate any queries if they have so, or we can have an interactive session now before we end up. We are sorry that many poets, many renowned poets, couldn't join in, and we regret for not being able to listen to their verses. Maybe you can have one more session with those who could not join. So the next time they will get the yes. chance. Yes. So in this regard, if anybody would like to say something, put up any queries. Or any suggestion? Yes. I want to say something. I, I really love the poets in the poems. And I especially, it was very nice to listen to uh, you know, Duane's uh, poems. He reads very powerfully, also uh, Diana's. And it was very nice to listen to you know, the poet from Sri Lanka. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I think that we covered a lot of ground. There's a lot to think about and meditate over in the works that we listen to. Uh, we so, can chew on for some time till the next event. So thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. So in fact, poetry heals the wounds which are inflicted by reason because a uh, reason behind some unhealed wound will never find an answer. But poetry acts as a soothing balm applied on the wound, which slowly with time will become a scar. And this scar will forever leave the mark in all literary creations of the poet and the writer. So uh, 
um, I would like to end our session by saying that poetry is not only a creative imagination and a vision, it gives a broader perspective to embrace change. Yes. So I would, like, I would like to request that <laughs> Yeah, the poems come from the soul, from the things that you're encountering every day, and you're trying to convey a message to the world. Basically, the idea is to kind of get their attention and so they can concentrate on the things that are going on in the world and giving us, you know, all these unpleasant feelings and what needs to be changed and what kind of uh, things we need to do in order for this change to take place. Thank you, Diana, ma'am, for your insight. Yeah. We move on with many takeaways. Do and sir, it was really a pleasure listening to your poems. And Dr. Koshi, sir, we are really enlightened by the way, by the suggestions, by the advices you have given and Sachini, thank you so much. It was all wonderful listening to your verses. And now, uh, Rachna Ma'am, thank you once again for bringing us in this common platform where we can share our views, we can connect with a global audience. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Yeah, and I hope well, the you. journey of creative writing modern age continues. Thank you to the team and as Always, Sachini is ready with the vote of thanks. I would like to request Sachini to take over. Yeah, just a few words. Actually, I have a lot of things to say, uh, yes, but sure. due to my voice, I'm not able to say anything because uh, normally with that intention, but suddenly yesterday itself, my voice got conked off. So a little bit down with the voice, but yes, it's true that poetry heals. And this sessions like this, the main intention of uh, inviting such great poets <coughs> who are really very busy, but still before Christmas to join us and share their poems with us is really a, you know, you can say a healing factor for the, to take out the woes of the last year and to bring in happiness for the new year. So it was really amazing. And I'm really sorry about my voice and two great poets who really wanted to share. They were very super excited to join Cosmo Poetica, but couldn't make it. Today, they have been messaging me that they are trying. Uh, Grant was, sir, uh, he couldn't join. He is messaging me. And even Andrew Scott, uh, I don't know. There is, they are traveling. Because of Christmas, they have to be somewhere. And probably they couldn't make it. So maybe next time we'll hear from them. So there is always a next time, ma'am. Yes, 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 surely. But I want to. I, 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 yes, oh, I really want to thank you for inviting me. Uh, I, I wish it had been a larger party, but um, but thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. I just wanted to speak so much. But anyway, my two hosts, Manjuri, thank you so much uh, for your lovely voice and the way you conducted the session. In spite of the missing poets, you two did, did it so nicely. And thank you, Sinchini, always. And Dynamam is a sweetheart for all of us. But I would request all the poets, since we have little time, just tell us about your new upcomings, which you will be hosting, uh, so that even our audience gets to know about your recent, uh, even I would request Manjuri about your recent book, which you have published about poems. All the poets I would request, please do share about your books so that our audience, and if you have a copy, please do show it to the audience so they can get a copy even from the Amazon. So that's my request since so many poets couldn't join. So anyway, we will take it as an opportunity and uh, request our audience, please do read all of them. And they have done amazing work. Not only this two or three poems, which they shared today, but they have a holocaust of poems. So please do read them. And uh, you know, you can get connected to them also in several platforms. So Manjuri, can you please repeat it for our audience and so that they understand it better? Okay, so it's a privilege 
it's a it's a real opportunity given by creative writing modern age uh, to showcase our wonderful works of all the literary works that we have been doing. So I would like to request Duen Vorhej, sir, to uh, showcase any of his publications, recent publications, which the readers would get a glimpse of and they would come to know. Okay, well, yep. Thank you for the opportunity. I assume this will come up backwards. Oh, no, it's fine. So, The Many Loves of Dwayne Voorhees, uh, published by Hog Press from Ames, Iowa. Uh, that was the first of my recent publications. Um, this was followed by Gift, God Runs Through All These Rooms, also published by Hog Press, and Evan, again, Hog Press. Um, I, I thought that would probably be the last one that I would crank out, but yesterday um, I, I, I finished a new manuscript and I'm, I'm looking for a publisher. Um, I, I just want to branch out from, from Hog Press. I, I think Hog did a very wonderful job and in the presentation of my books, but I, I'm looking for better distribution, I guess. Uh, so anybody who has any suggestions, I would be glad to entertain them. Wonderful to know about And, and uh, I guess that's it. Thank you very much. Of course, they're all available on, on Amazon. And, and there is a, a, a selection from the many loves of Dwayne Voorhees which was published by Hoakal in, uh, in Kolkata. So that may be easier for the Indian audience to acquire. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I think our audience is aware now about the publications of this renowned poet. And to listen to him is always so remarkable. Now I would like to move to Koshi, sir. Yeah, uh, we don't we don't have time for all of his publications. <laughs> uh, uh, and all the others. I mean, uh, first, this book was launched yesterday. I'm showing this the poems are in. Uh, but another reason, uh, this is called Let's Trans, and the money goes for orphans and old people if you buy it. An anthology with many poets in it. I launched it yesterday in Bangalore, and it's by a young poet called Nitin Jacob. Uh, so that's my very latest publication. It came out yesterday, and uh, this is a uh, it's a uh, that's four hundred and ninety five rupees. If anyone's interested in buying, the proceeds go for charity, and this is my uh, my. Uh, last book, you can call it the uh, 22nd or 27th uh, one with my name on the cover. This is done with Dr. Santosh Pattaya. This is a brief history of the sonnet. Uh, this was a uh, number one on Amazon hot new releases and it was in the top 10 for about a month. They sold a lot of copies uh, because it's a very uh, comprehensive study of the history of the sonnet as a form with beautiful poems by all the great sonnet writers in the world, starting from Spencer and Petrarch and uh, Michelangelo, coming down to me and other poets and my Rosiette sonnet form. So I really hope that it's only 295 rupees. I hope that you people will uh, buy it. It's called a sonnet to the poetic world. So these are my last two books. And this one I'm really proud of because it also has me and Dr. Santosh Pakaya who has written a whole story in sonnets like Vikram Seth, uh, like uh, Alexander Pushkin. And you know, it's uh, called, You Heard the Scream, Didn't You? And she has used the sonnet form made by me, the Rosette sonnet form to, um, to write it in. It's a wonderful story. And uh, you, you know, I'm, uh, 
uh, I'm humbled by the fact that such a great writer is ready to collaborate with me. Uh, and it makes the book very rich. It also appeared in the Rosette Sonnet Anthology and the book we did along with Sunita Singh, Gauri, Dikshit, and Vinita Mekka. Thank you. I mean, that I'm taking too much time. Here. And I also need to go for my Sunday meeting. So I'm very sorry. I really hope you'll, uh, you know, look at these two books and think of buying at least this one, of course, preferably because it's mine. But this one, if you want to give for charity. Thank you. Let's trans and the sonnet for the poetic world. It's Santosh Thank you, sir. I think all our audience will surely grab a copy. And as you said, it goes for charity. That is a wonderful thing, a wonderful contribution to the literary world. And when you were talking about sonnets, I think the lovers of sonnets should surely, surely grab a copy. And I too will be looking forward for it, sir. And the roseate form that you were talking about, it's uh, surely, you know, we are curious to read it and know more about it. Thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time and uh, being a part of our session. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I just want to say, can I leave now? Because, you know, I need to go to church. So I'm very sorry, but may I leave? Thank you, sir. Shall Merry Christmas to you, all of you, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See you very soon later. Thank you. Thank you. I would now like to request Diana, ma'am, to connect yeah. with the audience. Absolutely. I just want to show my mom's foreign books. You can find them in India, I'm sure, on Amazon. It's Bombs from the South. And I published for her because she's no longer with us. But if you want to buy her books, they're available on Amazon. Here it is. I don't know if you can see it. And yeah, Amazon everywhere in the world. You can get this book. It's a beautiful poem. And uh, the money are going actually for her right now. And I'm going to build something on the grave. I couldn't go and, you know, and even be next to her. So the money are going to uh, build something on her, you know, resting place. So if you want to help, here it is the books. I published it. I translated it into language. It's available in my language you know native language bulgarian and english also so here are the books and my book of poems is i never published a book of poems on amazon it's going to be available january 2023 on amazon and you can find out all of my books there also they're not poem books they're novels and self-help books which uh, the self-help books actually are going to help you deal with all the things that we are encountering and make you feel stronger and more positive and more resilient. So these are the things I want to share with you. I'm very excited because this is going to be my first book with poems and I have been working on my poems since yesterday. And I would love for you to uh, be able to get it and let me know what you think about it. And thank you so much for giving me opportunity to share off my poems. This is my first steps towards publishing book uh, with poems myself. And thank you so much, Rachna, for the invitation. Although I was a little bit late, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. And I, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you too. Thank you. Thank you, Diana Ma. And it was wonderful to know about your upcoming literary creations. And I think our audience would also love, love to read your different literary endeavors. And you know, the way you have dedicated it to your mom, it's really praiseworthy and commendable. I think the journey continues and we'll get to read more of your literary creations. So thank you, ma'am. I think the audience would like to know about Sachini also. 
about your upcoming um, any ventures? That will be my new task now, ma'am. Uh, so up until I joined CWMA, I, actually I kept my write-ups for myself only. Mm -hmm. uh, and also after I joined, I contributed um, my um, poems for some other anthologies as well. But uh, I'm really looking forward for my own uh, poetry book in the coming year, actually. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We wish you success always, Sachini. You have a way to go. Yes, just after your journey, there is a long way to go. So, Sachini, and... I would request you should get your first book published in CWMA because yes, we also true. give give the same thing to us. No, I would request Manjuri to showcase her book also. Okay, so this book of poems, it's a collection of poems in pursuit. It was recently published by Notion Plus and it is there in Amazon. And thank you, Creative Writing Modern Age, to Rachna Ma'am, the mentor, for supporting me, believing in me, and making me compile all my poems into a book. So thank you once again. I think the readers, if you are interested in delving into the inner recesses of the soul, I think you should grab a copy. Thank you. And this okay. is Rajna Ma'am with her collection of poems, Mindering Silence, a remarkable book. I would like to request Rajna Ma'am to enrich us more about the book. The audience will surely be delighted to know more. Yes, it's a collection of poems which is having different genres. We have uh, from the feelings, different feelings, which has culminated in a woman's life. So it would be just a journey about yourself as if looking through a glass, emerging into a different world. So again, it's, uh, it would be a great read. I would say it's available in Amazon. You can go through it and purchase a copy, not that very costly. And of course, I would request the young poets to come up, share their poems with us, the collection, we will help you publish it. And that will be totally free of cost. We do it with a team, amazing team we have. Only it will, you will get your own ISBN number and it will be there in Amazon and Netflix available in India as well as abroad. So do come up with your poems and get it published and become a published author. So I would not speak more. I would request Manjuri to continue. Thank you so much all for bearing with me and my voice tonight. I think our audience would love to know that. And you know, everybody is replete with so many ideas, thoughts, feelings. And if we express in this way, then uh, we get satisfaction or solace. So I think everybody should come up with more and more literary creations and creative writing modern age is always there to support the budding talents. So thereby you can express, you can hone your talents, you can realize your own potentialities because every one of us, we have some hidden talent in us, you know, only we need someone to push us forward. So with this optimism, looking ahead for more such endeavors, connecting more with people, I think today's event has come to an end, though we, um, though we wish that more poets will join us soon and we'll also organize such more events. So with that note, I would like Sachini to give the vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. On behalf of uh, CWMA committee, I would like to uh, give a little vote of thank thanks to all the uh, participants today. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Reshna Shakti, who is uh, the guiding pillar of us up until the end of the session. She was guiding, being in the back. So and also she was she is the organizer of this event. So thank you, ma'am, for that. And also uh, to all the members of our uh, committee CWMA, uh, including uh, Montreux, ma'am, who became a great moderator today, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as a great poet. Uh, and uh, I would also like to thank all the guests um, 
poets who were reciting their lovely uh, compilations, uh, starting from uh, Duane Sir, Diana Ma'am, and Koshi Sir, also um, Monjoy Ma'am. And so thank you everyone. And I know that some of the uh, participants couldn't join here today because of uh, the network issues and also uh, due to Christmas. So uh, we will uh, see them in the next uh, session. And also to everyone who is in the audience and uh, who supported us uh, commenting. Uh, so thank you all. So let's meet again next year. Over to you. Thank you so much, Sachini, for your remarkable vote of thanks. And thanks to our wonderful participants, the distinguished speakers, Rachna Ma'am, the entire team of CW AMI, and to our wonderful audience who have always stood by us, supported us in all our ventures. Thank you once again for making this show happen. And we will surely keep rocking. Isn't it, Rachna Ma'am? Yes, very true. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining. I know the different time zones, but thank you so much for making it possible and successful and making our Sunday so very vibrant with so many good poems to listen. Thank you to answer. And uh, he's an amazing poet and even an inspirer and motivational uh, poet who keeps on inspiring the audience with his poems. So thank you so much for making it possible today. And it was lovely listening to you. Thank you, Diana, ma'am, for your amazing poems. And we'll surely host your book two book launch. We'll be doing it soon. So thank you so much. And we will surely come up with that book launch. And thank you to Manjui for making this possible because without you, it would have been impossible today morning. Thank you, Sitchini, for the lovely videos. Whatever I tell her, she just does it. I don't know how, but she has that aura in her, that positivity in her that really makes me go, you know, all the time demanding. My demands increase looking at her way of, you know, doing everything, whatever I tell her. And she is such a sweetheart all the way from Sri Lanka. She never says no. So Sitchini, we, uh, we would be privileged if we could, you know, get your book published in our podium. So thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, Manjuri. Thank, thank you, you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, all of you. See you for the next Bye. 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 Bye.